Well, let's please welcome Stephanie, Sally, Anna, Nicole, Kiki, Justin, William, Cecile, and Julie. Thank you for being here on SQS Summit. As we discuss the SDGs and the economy. Thank you for joining our discussion on the economy. To begin, would you help us understand why economic growth is important to sustainable development and protecting our Earth? There are some benefits of economic growth to development. First, it provides an incentive for innovation and technological advancement to help develop new, more sustainable technologies and practices. Take Tesla, for example, which has the largest share of the world's electric vehicle market. They reached the milestone of 3 million electric vehicles in August of 2022. Second, economic growth creates jobs, increase incomes, and improve living standards, all of which helping to reduce poverty and inequality. For example, uh, in the United States, the tech industry has been a major status of economic growth and job creation in recent years. I never realized how important a growing economy is to sustainability. Which of the UN's SDG are related to the economy? SDG 10, reduce inequality. This goal aims to reduce inequality in income, wealth, and opportunity within and among countries. And SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. This SDG aims to promote sustainable consumption and production patterns. Both goals both go and goal 9 are related, are related to the economy. Goal 8 focuses on solving all of unequal employment problems in the world, such as unequal pay for equal work, ending child labor, and modern slavery. Basically, push allowing us to have sustain our job and have fair environment work. Goal 9 is enable developing countries to have some progressive guarantees, such as small school loans, so that they can resume operation in the fastest, fastest time when they encounter disasters. SDG 8 this goal is focused on promoting sustainable economic growth. And SDG 9 is building on more sustainable industry can also promote sustainable economic growth. There are a lot of goals related to the economy. In the past eight years, what initiatives have been taken to promote economic growth? People around the world are taking actions to promote economic growth. First, with infrastructure development. Many countries are trying to modernize infrastructure development to improve economic growth. This includes building construction, using more green materials, such as making full use of solar energy, adopting energy saving building, heating and air conditioning. This, these improvements help people save money in daily life. Second, one initiative is education and skills training. Some countries are invested in education and skills training programs to improve the quality of their workforce and promote innovation. For instance, uh, Japan's lifelong learning program. Japan has invested in lifelong learning programs to improve um, to help their workers have the latest news and knowledge and promote innovation also. And the third one is sustainable development. Governments are focusing on sustainable development initiatives that promote economic growth while protecting the environment. This includes investment in clean energy, sustainable agriculture, and green infrastructure. I'm curious. These last few years, the world has been in lockdown due to the pandemic, and the economy of many countries has suffered. 
Has the pandemic had any impact on us achieving the SDGs? The pandemic has led to a sharp contraction in economy activity. As many countries have implemented lockdown and other measures to slow the spread of the virus, and also many business closed down during the COVID. And here's the thing that Goal Eight states: decent work for all. What exactly does that mean, and how can we guide the progress towards reaching the goal? The same work for all aim to promote uh, economy growth by providing productive and fair employment for everyone. The most important part of this goal is creating a conducive job opportunity that uh, provides fair rights, social protection, and safe working condition, and also promoting uh, entrepreneurship. And there are two important aspects of decent work for all. First off, we need to make sure employees have the right tools and safety equipment to regulate inflation to protect our workers. Secondly, protecting the rights of our workers, especially women, to freedom, equality, job security, and equal wages for equal work and experience. This can be done by improving participation in trade unions. Decent work for all means create a friendly workplace without discrimination. We are in a 21 century. We have been, we all have been taught to be respectful. So in the workplace, shouldn't we be? The, the specific target of goal A are suggesting to the capability of domestic and financial institutions so that they can start businesses and get a stable job and educate the next generation that everyone is equal. A stable financial market allows people to afford small loans within their, their abilities, thereby increase domestic employment problems. Do local businesses influence the economy? Should customers shop locally? Yes, local businesses have a significant effect on the economy as they contribute to economic growth and job creation by providing employment and generating revenue for the local economy. Since the local economy have a tendency to spend the revenue locally, it stimulates further economic activity and in turn creates a compound effect. Therefore, if people shop locally more often, it may bring benefits to both consumers and the local community. Of course, local business, uh, uh, local business can create more employment opportunity to local community and raise competitive and bring more local income and promote local development. And it is a part of local business, so it must to use local resources. People must shop locally to promote and support local business. So supporting local businesses helps our economy to grow. Then how about ethical businesses? Do we as consumers have a responsibility to support ethical business practices? Uh, yes, consumers must have responsibility to support ethical business because consumer uh, behavior will directly affect this business success or not. If consumers keep supporting an ethical business, this businessman will keep doing this something else unethical things, and this behavior will harm environment and community. In my opinion, yes. By choosing to support ethical businesses, consumers can signal to the market that there's a demand for ethical practices and encourage other businesses to follow suit. Additionally, supporting ethical businesses can help consumers feel good about the impact of their purchasing decision and align their actions with their volume. I think consumers have a responsibility to support ethical businesses too. 
because it can promote social responsibility, positive change, and minimizes harmful impacts. Consumer can play a significant role in shaping the behavior of businesses and promoting a more ethical, sustainable economy. We are out of time for this segment of our show today. We would like to thank our all panelists for joining us. <laughs>